Hey guys, this is Stephen. And I'm Sam. And we're from The Fame and you're listening to Rhino Radio. So I'm back with The Fame. I got Stephen. Welcome back. Yes, thank you. I have Sam. Yes. First time, so nice to meet you. You too. Okay, so I'm... we let's go over kind of back the history of the fame. We released um, "Summer's a Curse" last summer. Yes. Okay. Been so far away, but still, and we got one new track. Absolutely. We got a new video today, "Fire." Yeah. Okay. Something for the dreamers. Absolutely. Okay. That's At least the is. video is. Okay. But um, you know, let's kind of go back to the middle. So Sam, first time, how about you tell us about your way with the band as well? Is that okay? Yeah. Um, oh, it's been like the experience of what it's been like so well, far. How do you know everyone? Because you're one of the recent new additions to the band. Yes, yeah. I grew up kind of with Josh. Um, we played sport together. We played cricket um, when we were like 12. And through that, I met Stephen and I used to work with Lindo um, at a rehearsal studio in Perth. And yeah, that's how I kind of know, know everyone. All the connections. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like Dynasty, it's like one of those old uh, soap operas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, actually, you're also uh, Steven's dad and <laughs> Josh's mom. Everything's <laughs> connected. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sam is my dad. And I'm guessing you got Lyndon into the, sh- into the group as well? Yeah, we all knew Lyndon um, from the rehearsal studio as well, um, where we used to rehearse, he's always down there jamming. He actually worked there and then always there practicing his drums. And we're like, man, this guy is a great drummer. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, but the new additions did not help you in bowling. <laughs> no, not necessarily. <laughs> I think, actually, I think no, Lyndon, I, Lyndon did. Well, yeah. you know, and you, yeah. I think me and Josh just let the team down. That's true. Fair. Like That's I, true. I did not bring my game that well. But, actually, um, no, you played pretty well. I did okay. You played pretty well. <laughs> I did okay, but Lindo has the the mean bowling arm. Like I've never seen someone bowl as fast as Lindo. <laughs> Yeah, but hands like houses are definitely the dominance of Australia in bowling. Right oh now. yeah, but and then in American <laughs> bowling, devour the day, devour the, devour day. the day. Quick shout out, they oh are the, yeah. they are so good at bowling, like, they ridiculously beat us good. Every time. They they leave no pin standing. Okay, no. so the last two years have been really intense since you went to the US to record with Feldy, mm. and then the EP got released, and I'm guessing that there's some new stuff. Can you pick one moment that was like the greatest moment that you cannot fall asleep without thinking about it? Oh man, as in like in the writing or just in the last two Anything. years? The last two years probably Oof. brought so many things with the band or around the band. Which one is your favorite? Oh, there's so many things. I think playing Reading Festival was just like such a highlight. Like that that show was just, you know, it was after a break of like not touring. So it's just like getting back into it. And then just that feeling of like, yes, like we're back on this awesome stage, this awesome crowd it was a great feeling. Yeah, I'd say the same. Reading and Leeds was like a major moment um, for all of us, I think. Yeah, it was very fun and it was one of the first, one of the fir- very first gigs I've ever played So, with the band. So it was, yeah, amazing. Okay, and do you still remember the old days of uh, Hometown Heroes? Oh yeah, good old small town <laughs> heroes. Yeah, yeah, those, hey, you can't, without those days, we wouldn't be here like where we are. You know, that's part of everyone's growth and it's where we started and we can't forget that. And we kind of caught the entail of your VIP experience. Mm. Uh, a lot of youngsters kind of looking up to you. Is it something that you're already comfortable with? Oh, yeah. Like, you know, that's something that we want to do is to be able to inspire people in whatever we do. So whether it be like in their personal lives, whether it be as like, you know, them wanting to grow as musicians. Like, you know, someone today was saying how they want to study music, but then they gave up on it. But then after watching us, they've been re-inspired. And like that to us just like means so much that someone that we don't actually know is you know looking into us and looking into what we do as like musicians and is inspired by that to you know pursue their own dream so it's quite amazing okay so let's talk about dreams okay uh, saints of the sinners um kind of about chasing your dreams mm. and fire is about maybe the price of it mm. or the addiction of it so where are you in following your dreams how do you connect to both songs i think both of them like are always relevant like to to us they're both two different sides of what we do you know in our careers and it's it's something that you know both stays with us it's like you know 
each day where like we're, we're looking forward like you know in saints the sinners we're pushing we're looking at that next step to try and you know make the best of what we got but at the same time like at that price is you know is what fire is about it's about you know what you, what you give up the things the things that you know come with chasing this dream and so they actually work hand in hand um to each other in a way so is fire more of a note to self or a reminder to others maybe an apology to everyone you had to take a step back from I think it's a bit of both like again like you know it's just it's important to us that we express like things that are going on and then I like I don't think we would have been able to write fire before we started touring like you know Saints of the Sinners was released before we started touring because it's that energy of you know us wanting to you know to break new barriers to like push forward and then you know with that experience like we then you know we find the other side and we felt that that is a, a very important thing to write about because it's something that you know needs to be you know expressed within ourselves and it's important that you know people know that there there is like sacrifice that comes with like the joys of you know having one of the best jobs in the world okay. and we've just touched on the diversity in lyrics but let's talk about the diversity in uh, kind of musical themes um, you've you were quoted in the past talking about some heavier riffs, mm. um, and your music is also between kind of the heavier side of pop rock and also the lighter side. What do you prefer on stage? Do you prefer the the kind of lighter moments when everybody's bringing up their phones and singing to it, or the ones that jump around? I prefer the heavier moments <laughs> personally. Yeah, they're the most fun on stage. But every song has its place, and every moment has its place in this in the live set. Um, I don't think the heavier moments would be as enjoyable if it wasn't for the other moments and vice versa, really. So, personally, I prefer the heavier moments, but they all, they're all amazing, all the moments. Yeah, I love rocking out too. Yeah. And so there's nothing like, you know, hitting those sloppy O's <laughs> on the bass, just zero, zero, sliding up to 12 in St. 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 It never gets old. Uh, so what can we expect in the future? We've got fire. It's a bit more mellow. Mm. But you guys are both influenced by heavier sounds. Can we expect? I've also seen some uh, fan videos online of some heavier stuff. Oh, yeah. So yes. can we expect another EP or an LP in 2019? You can expect a record at the, at the end of the year, and you can expect some heavier stuff. Like, we've got, if you're sticking around tonight, you're going to see one of them, and it's going to be good. Okay, I was a bit upset that Saints of the Sinners was not on the EP. So is it going to come back for the LP? <laughs> I think it's, it's going to remain as a single. Um, but anything can happen, you know what I mean? Anything yeah. can happen. We're, we're all about the surprises here at the fame. <laughs> okay, so have you gone into the studio again since uh, the last one in uh, Los Angeles? Uh, we, well, we're actually back in the studio oh, last time we were in LA, which is like November. So yeah, yeah, yeah writing a few more tunes and that's when, you know, the, some of these ones were born that we're playing tonight. So it's going to be good. And was anyone ever upset that you got too heavy? Like, guys, we're not Slayer moment? Hey, <laughs> like we're all about doing new things, I think. So yeah, each each song we write is like always going to be relevant to us, and you know whether it's more rocking, whether it's lighter. It, you know, like Sam said before, each one has its place. Okay, so I'm glad that Sam is here because I want to confront you with a rumor. You remember my rumors from last time? Oh yeah. <laughs> so there's a rumor online that there might be a cooking show with Sam and Josh cooking and Stephen eating. <laughs> So is that happening? Is there a... a <laughs> That's a rumor? I'm so confused. Uh, um, well, here we can make it happen. <laughs> like, definitely. I don't know. I've never heard of it before. So you're, but, uh, are you capable of bringing your cooking skills? I Are think Josh is a cook as well. I think I don't. Have we ever tasted Josh's cooking? I'm not sure, but like you know, Sam is a great cook. I think that's where they got it from because I think in interviews they're like, "What is the?" They must have caught us on the against the current tour because like, "What's the best part of tour?" I'm like, "Well, I had the best part of tour the other day, which is Sam's chicken tikka masala." What? <laughs> yeah. So that's probably where that that grew from. Okay, and one last question I have about the current tour: How many schnitzels have you had? We have had none yet. None. Because we are hitting Germany in like four days' time. Okay, so I'll warn them. Yeah, you can yes. warn Let them. them know to prep everything and have a big stock. Okay, so what can we expect in the future? We've mentioned an LP. Mm. Yes. Are you coming back this summer? I don't know if we're coming back this summer, but we definitely will be doing more touring. There'll be more music. Um, and like we'll be back as soon as... We soon can, as we really, can. yeah. That's we we want to come back as soon as possible. So just it's kind of whatever lines up. So we'll definitely be, be back at some point. That's all <laughs> yeah. I can say. 
Okay, anything else you want to add to fans and listeners out there? Oh, you know, once again, we just want to thank everyone that's out here listening, um, everyone that supported us, and hey, everyone that's here tonight, because, yes. you know, without you guys, like, come down to all these shows, like, this is our first headline tour, and, you know, we've been close to selling out on, like, almost every venue so far, and it's just been incredible. So I just want to thank all those people. Okay, Stephen and Sam of their fame, thank you very much. Thank, thank you so you. much.